So the wife reports red fluid coming from out of the vehicle. I see red fluid. Uh, oh, look right here. A little bit. There it is. And that is transmission fluid. My suspicion was correct. This is the transmission cooler line. And we've got a little leak right there. Wonderful. That's not a lot, but once you put pressure on the system, it'll leak more. I'm gonna have to get that replaced. We're not taking this this morning. I'm not risking the transmission. We'll all hop in the pickup. It's a six passenger pickup. We're all gonna cram in that thing. Let's shut this van down. Monkey business in the cold. Well, they're still flying south. At this point, they ought to wait for the warm to come to them, just a few days, but it is bright out, bright sunshiny day. Girls are sledding. Went ahead and bought the pair of hoses, and it's, uh, it's all of about 10 degrees, maybe 15 by now. I think it's about 15 now. Wind chills, maybe five. It's not much wind, but it's enough. But it's sunny, and the sun's right on me, so you know that helps a lot. And I'm just gonna see, can I even get to this? I'm not necessarily gonna try to do the job. I'm just seeing, like, is it accessible? And and the way they've got this tucked in, right here, right here, this hose, these two, and they go in, and they go to the front, of the radiator so I can't actually even get to it from over here um, I could probably take this grill stuff off to access that's what I'd have to do I'm assuming so I could get to it from this side maybe but getting over there I am NOT getting on the cold frozen ground today maybe tomorrow <laughs> we'll see you then That cat is hilarious. He plays with the with the kids like he's a dog. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Leo. Hilarious. <laughs> oh man, it's cold. So I track the two hoses. And I can actually get to both of them right on top of the transmission right here. So I think, I mean, I will wait till tomorrow when it's a little warmer. It's supposed to be, I think, 10 degrees warmer, maybe a little bit more tomorrow. That makes a big difference. Um, so I can get to those there. And right now I could probably take this grill off, get some of the work done now. So let's do that. Um, but I can take these off. There's definitely no other way that I can get um, to where these hoses go in on the side of the, the transmission cooler. Definitely if I could get this out of the way, I could reach in, I think. All this is plastic and it's so cold right now. I am nervous that I'll just crack it. Do I seriously have to take the whole front end bumper guard, whatever this is called, fascia, whatever, off? That just seems ridiculous. They make this all one piece now, it looks like. And that's what I'm talking about. I barely pulling on that and it just, just cr cracked it right off. Should have listened to myself. Too cold to be working on this. What I'm gonna do is set this right here with the new lines. Crud. Just don't touch it. <laughs> if you don't touch it, it, it won't break. Oh my heavens. 
Now we're back. Uh, it is warmer. It's still cold, but it's not brutal. Daggone angle. If I turn my wheel that way, I'd be able to get to it, but I don't want to start the engine because it'll put pressure to the leaky. So, see if I can get a I get a something. <laughs> I can use the creeper, obviously, to sit or lay on, but also when the bumper's ready to come, I can kind of set it right on there, maybe. Mm. Oh, yeah, now, now they can't use a screwdriver. Now they're going to switch to switch to a hex head. Okay size 10 let's go with a 10 nope let's use a quarter drive since I've got this little guy right here We're making some progress now I'm sure we'll be brought to an abrupt stop by something stupid soon mainly me Progress. I'll put all these over here and I've got videographic evidence to remember where to put it because I probably won't. Where was I? Done. Done. There's one. What else? Push pins up here, I suppose. What do we have? Yes, a fourth type of fastener. Hey, that one actually comes out easy. Did you see that? I like that. And yank. That's awesome. And I'll be able to reuse those. Nice. What's left? I think I gotta do this side now. I think this is the side where the sun don't shine. <laughs> oh, I hate that so much. Not enough to hire it done though. I have time. And I can't afford to pay somebody else for theirs. Leave those right there. Oh, knees. These are fun. These are good to have. I've got this little guy right here to get off. Tucked right under here. If I can get on there. <laughs> it's just a you know, slightly awkward position, I guess. If you don't keep your angle just right, you lose grip on it. Right here, where those two push pins are. I don't want to break you. It would make sense to pop out. Like that. Maybe you're supposed to get this side and then follow it around. Ooh. That's good. I didn't hear anything break. It just popped out. Okay. So following that logic, like open the door a little bit and then pop it out this side. Maybe. Come on, let it go. Give it. Give it. Yeah. <laughs> Get some leaves out. Hey, all right. Do a little spring cleaning in the dead of winter. Good grief. This is the last spot that it's hung up. Got one 
down, one clips down. Ah, there's the other. Okay. Now what am I hanging on? Oh, they went right back up. <laughs> I got them down when they popped in. Son of a gun. Get out and stay out. Ha ha! Ha! Yeah! All right. And my genius idea, it just rolls out of the way now. Woo! Let's take a gander. Oh, I didn't take long at all. <laughs> so we took the whole bumper off, the bumper cover. This is your actual bumper, but took the whole bumper cover off because those transmission cooler lines come to this side instead of being accessible from that side of the bumper cover. So now I have access. Woo, we can actually get started. It doesn't look like it comes with new hardware, so I, I guess you'll reuse these. Makes sense. And this is all just rubberized around it. So I should be able to push a wrench in there just fine. Is it a three quarter? Ding, ding, ding. All right, now I'm gonna bust this loose. The system shouldn't still be under pressure, but I'm gonna go get an oil pan anyway, just in case. All right. Best guess right there. It'll hit that stuff and go in, I don't know. I don't know. All right, lifty Lucy. Oh, that came off super easy. Did you see that? Really weren't on there that tight. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right. Right here, this is where your transmission fluid goes in to your radiator here. Got a spot for it. Keep it cool when you're working it hard. So you've got this front radiator and you've got a back radiator for your engine coolant. And down here you've got a single line across that's supposed to help cool off your power steering. So all your fluids got to stay the right temperature and some of them need a little extra help. My wife wanted me to take off work tomorrow to do this. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll get it done after work. Well, let me just get to it now. It smells good, looks good, the fluid. Move that over a little. Okay, that line's off. <clears throat> Out of the way so I can get better access to this one. Before I take this all the way off, I'm also going to take a little look-see, make sure I know which, the to which spot the top line goes to. The top line goes to the right-hand side, I believe. Let me double check. Yep. The top goes to the right hand plug from where I'm looking. So you gotta kinda stay far enough ahead of yourself to remember what goes where. So the top goes to the right. And that should be about it. Yep, pops right out. And pull this through, there we go. Okay. I'll uh, pull these all the way out before I start figuring out how to put the new one in. I wonder what the odds are that they use the same size under the hood. Probably not good. Hey, wait. Oh, I was on it for a second, I thought. And I think it's the same size. Holy mackerel. If I can get seated, the 
angle's bad. Daggone it. And lefty Lucy. Oh, that wasn't over tightened either. Oh, that's miraculous. So I'm working on the left one first, which goes to the bottom. That's the bottom hose. I almost need a shorter wrench. That's, that would be helpful, actually. This is too long. Dare I say, crescent wrench. Oh, man. Here's what I'm dealing with. Right. Oh, man. I can barely see. These two. One, two. Right there. Those are the ones that were taken off. So when I said left, bottom, and top right, those are the two I'm talking about. I wonder if this one opens enough. Probably not. But this would be a good length. I don't think that opens far enough, though. Oh, yeah, it does. It's actually exactly all the way open. It goes to three-quarter inch. Better tool for the job once you get it started, at least, because... Maneuverability is key. Now, if you've got one of them fancy open-ended rat, you know, uh, wrenches with a ratcheting mechanism, be all about that. Especially with the rotating head too. I've got a lot of tools, but I don't have every tool. And when you do a lot of DIY. Your tool collection does increase, though, because like, oh, I just need this one more tool and I can do that next job. And then your repertoire of things that you can do just continues to expand. You get more experience and everything. All right, now another thing I'm thinking about at the moment is dust and crap getting in here. But this isn't that dirty of an engine compartment. It is just barely a little dust, so I'm not all that concerned. I ain't gonna be leaving it open long. But if you were concerned, you put a little, put something in the hole there. Let me show you. Oh, come on, come on, out of there. Oh gosh, let me guess. They've got a clamp or something in the. Yeah, they do. Right in the middle. Right where I can't see. Oh, is that just a is that just a zip tie? Hey, all right, I can deal with the zip tie if I can get at it. On it. And it's loose. So I'll make a mental note when I go to put this back on. It's relatively loose. I'm not gonna have to torque the crap out of it. I didn't have to struggle to get it off. So I shouldn't have to put much to get it back on. There it comes. Come on. More threads than you think. There. All right, got it. Got these two. Rotate it out of there. Yo, whoa, got some oil <laughs> in the lines. Okay, so for anybody keeping score at home, we're halfway done at this point. The bumper is off, the old hose is out, and um, here is the culprit. This guy right here was uh, leaking. Yep. And it happened on a very cold morning. You know, this stuff, everything gets brittle when it's cold, even, even rubber. So, yeah. It said, I'm done with this. How dare you start me when it's this cold? All right. Now, they have one zip tie holding this together, another one not. That's about Dorman Original Equipment Solutions Transmission Line. And these 
around this and I don't think no they won't come off anyway okay good can't lose them that's good because if you could I would here's the thing how do I I'm just thinking out loud here of course I need to reuse these oh I see says the blind man they've got little clippies little wire clips if you can see that little wire clips um, that hold those on so question is do I finish this today it's already starting to have a temperature drop it's not gonna be as cold tonight but the temperature is dropping there ain't no way I'm gonna finish today button it all back up putting that on and there's football on so I'm thinking I'll probably pick up at least I know what I'm doing kind of sorta and uh, I can do it tomorrow yeah and in the meantime people will see this and think oh my gosh what happened to his van because it looks way worse I mean I'm just replacing two hoses it's ridiculous you gotta take all that off to replace two hoses but but you do you do so the next line of business is to put these fittings on those hoses we're in the garage warmer today still it's now in the 40s <clears throat> but what we got to do is get these fittings and these type fittings off of our old hoses and onto the new ones so that's at least something that won't poke me <laughs> although it does stop so i might be able to just push from one side i guess we could see Oh my heavens, look how easy that was. Oh man, I love it. And this is what we were trying to get, that little clip. Set it here so I don't lose it. And then we should be able to just twist and pull that right off of the old one. That's awesome. Set that right there so I don't lose it. And then go after the next one. So again, we're going to... Find one end or the other. I'm going to push on this side here. Push down on that clip. Oh, going the wrong way. Huh. Push that clip right. Oops. I was in the way. So the clip's in there. And just like you've got a spot to put something there, I'm going to got the same on the other side. I'm just going to push. And that clip comes right out. Get my hand in the way of the camera. I said I wasn't going to lose it. It's right there. I didn't lose it. <laughs> now that one I might lose. <clears throat> Went flinging. It's all right. Crisis averted. I need to put it somewhere safer. I'm bump it. So I got my two clips off this end. And my two fittings they look the same on both ends these hoses but are they really they look like they are but this side's got longer curves i guess you could say see this side's fairly short between this this crush fitting and the end uh this metal section versus on this side this is shorter here and it's got a long bent section there so definitely a difference so i want to make sure i put the old ones on the same part of the new one so to get to to avoid getting confused i'm to avoid getting confused now i'm only doing one end of both hoses at a time <clears throat> so i just took these off i'm going to clean them clean them real good there we go. We're cleaned up. No dust or debris in there. Super, super perfect and precise. And now I'm going to put these on the... Oops, my hands are in the way again. Put these on the new lines. And I just twist or twist and push back maybe. Same thing here. 
goes right on. And then I get my get my little clippies here. And I just dropped that one. Gosh darn it. I grabbed on it and dropped it. I have to go looking. And then this just pushes in on both sides. Uh, or not. Maybe not. I don't know. Should just. Oh, I see. Huh. I see how it goes on there. You'll see it where the the parts that go in have a little spot to go into to hold it on. I gotta go find that other clip again. Gosh darn. Of course it bounced off my air tank here. I don't know if it bounced out or if it bounced under. It's amazing what you can find when your eyes, you know, your eyes are looking for it. You know, somehow they're trained to look for the object. All right, let me get better on this one. So you can see on these fittings, there's like three cutout spots. One for each end. Oh, a nail here. So this clip has one, two, three parts that are going to go into these three fittings, or fittings, it'll go into these three, like, gaps, one, two, three, around this collar, and they just push right in there, and bingo, double check, totally works, side's done, hey, that's this, <laughs> Woo! I'm loving this, this is way easier, I was thinking maybe it'd be hard all right so here we go again grab my nail or some kind of pokey this is just turning so I gotta you gotta hold it dummy so we're gonna hold the fitting from turning really not a good spot for the camera oh gosh here's our close-up shot and uh the ends of the clips. I'm just going to take one side and I'm going to shove it off. I don't want to lose the clip. Though. I'm lucky I didn't lose the other one. And now you can see I've got it up. I've got it started. I can get the nail under there and pull it back. And I've got my clip. And now I can just twist twist and pull my fitting off make sure it's clean and serviceable and now this side has these rubber um, o-ring washers so you're going to want to make sure that that looks good and this one does look good or does it have to run back to the part store again all right now on to the next same thing and this one should slide off and we can say, go away, bad poses. Just contribute to the mess in my shop, right? All right. So back to our new hoses. Again, make sure it's clean. And we're going to go twist, push, grab the clip. Oh, no, not into the hole. Directly, at least. Slide it. Good. Pop. Now those, I don't know, I might need to slide those out of the way to get the wrench on there. I don't know. We'll see. And on to the next. There we go. We've got our old fittings on the new lines. Now the only other thing, this side just threads in and has these rubber uh, O-rings. This side is threaded and that's it so and i saw i saw where there was some residue or left behind of uh, teflon tape so i'm going to grab some teflon tape wrap these before before getting those in so camera lady while trying to take the camera almost killed the camera i had it by two fingers 
I don't want a camera upgrade. I like my camera. I like my Even phone. though it barely charges? The, the, the cord just wants to pop out. So, I, you know, I was looking at this thing and I'm like, well, the angle where these hoses go in there and then with these flexible things, I bet I don't have the right tool to do it. I bet maybe there'd be a way to come through here if you had a special tool. Like I bet you the dealer's got a special tool. They'd be able to get it out. I don't have that ability. I had to take, I think, take that off. So took the bumper off, got access. That hole. Yeah, we can definitely see that. Yep, those yep. two holes. Yeah, you can, actually, that's perfect camera. You're twisted, but that's all right. Uh, those two, that was where this goes. And right goes the top. I remembered from yesterday. Oh, the other way, see? I think. Who's that? Le, Le Maire? No. Who said Voltaire? I think, therefore I am. I think it's Voltaire. Mm -hmm. I, it's been a long time since stuff like that. So it'd be turning in at... No, I think I just did it backwards. Whatever. We'll try to get it in there. We'll do this one the opposite way. And that way I've got a 50-50 shot of being right. Maybe. One of them will be right. One will be wrong. Whatever. Here we go again. Uh, I think... Yes. Yes, they go under both of those cord bundles. And then... Now we just got to be careful not to cross thread. And one thing you can do, of course, to not cross thread is to screw backwards until you hear it kind of click in. And when you're going in, if you feel any resistance that you shouldn't feel, that would be an indicator. And I'm going forward and it's not grabbing. Well, you got to be dead on. There it is. Okay, that one felt good. Now should I... I'm just going to put both of them on and then tighten. Oh gosh. This one's not giving me as much play. No room. It's screwing on though. hurts it just you know that the muscle just starts tensing up oh, wrong way. There we go. i gotta tighten that down remind me now have to again down. again the right side needs to go to the top so i'm tracing my cordage here basically this one's gonna go to the top and this one make sure yep this one's gonna go bottom. Should I do the top one first? Or bottom? I think I should do the top one first. Of course I forget which order I took them off. Did I hear a cat? Yeah, Leo. I heard a cat. I'm guessing you already got him in the picture. Oh, of course. All right. Now hey, Leo. roll my little o-ring back and line her up. Can I get it? Oh gosh. Here we go. Come here, Leo. Hey, kitty, kitty. Going right in, nice and easy. Oh, I love it when things. It came off real easy, too. Mm -hmm. So the camera lady is flopping all over because she's once again distracted by the pets. Yeah. Why don't you just watch the pet? Okay. <laughs> I'm just tightening this one down. So Leo. You got a moment. Hello. Oh, look. Is his ear healing up? Looks like it. Because it was just below his left ear that it got all just mangled. From the evil kitty yep. cat. All right. Now, it wasn't super tight. And then... Are you looking? Yeah, Camera I can lady? see. Yes. So then that little collar, that plastic clip that goes over... This collar can now come forward, maybe. Can I get it through here? The guards in the way. Get out of my way. Put that on. There we go. So it should... I can see Are you zoomed in close enough? 
So that plastic clippy cover, I just pulled that up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one. Pull that O-ring back. I don't cross thread anything. Very careful. Come on. I feel like Happy Gilmore. That's that go in the hole. That's your home. You're too good for your home. Remember that? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been years since I watched that movie. I say years, it's probably been over a decade. I wonder if it'd still be funny. It probably would be. You know, some of those old movies that you watched when you were like 15, you just don't know if they'd be funny anymore. Oh! Alright, where's my little plastic clippy? Bring that up. I guess this is just to like secure this clip mm -hmm. in place so your hose fitting doesn't come loose. Because that's you know important. We'll be right back. We'll be right back in uh, monkey business with Lucy. Okay. So that seems loose. <laughs> Does that not seem like loose? Uh, I don't know. That seems loose. that clippy thing is not wanting to stay on there. I mean, I'm tight. I don't want to strip it. Yeah, it's, it's tight. These clippies. Come on. Come on, clippies. There, oh, there it goes. Get in the fitting snug. Are you not dressed for the weather? Just my hands are cold. Oh, well, just use one at a time. There you That's go. That's what I'm doing, but still. Yeah, swap out. It's so cold. All right, this is where I had to switch to my crescent. It's a little shorter. So I can, oh. Manipulating this stuff in a tight space. I did. Oh, there it goes. I'm on it now. Like what? I don't know. On it like? Butter on bread? Donkey Kong! Yeah. Isn't that what this? Yeah. Uh, like, uh, Something like that. I don't know. Uh, my thumb's gonna be like picketing soon. Run on strike. So when we're done tightening this one up, babe, guess what it's time to do? Go warm up in the house. Leak test. Go start dinner. Leak test. Yeah. We're going to start it and watch for leaks. It's going to be probably about as exciting as watching grass grow. All right. Oh, there's the thumb again. It'll, it'll be fine. Just mm -hmm. no biggies. And I was going to put a little bit, and I forgot. It's okay. I'm going to have to check the fluid. I don't think we lost much, do you? I don't know, because it's been dark usually when I have to start my car, so I don't well, know. Well, we don't know. Was it leaking on the way home the last That's time? That's what I'm saying. It's dark. I doubt it. I have strong suspicion that it was cold as a hey. witch's... I'll say it. A witch's tip. And it, it made stuff fragile. When you put pressure on stuff that's fragile, it breaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Stuff off of engine compartment. Do we have keys? Not on me. <laughs> They're connected to my purse. You said, you said you had the keys. Yeah, with my purse. All right, let's go get the keys. Keys off to the wife. Hold up. So the dramatic start. Oh, she's about to do it anyway. It was leaking here. Now I'm like, is it going to leak here? Because it seems loose, but we'll see. Go ahead.
Ah, nothing dramatic yet. All right, here's another test. We'll have her put it in gear and roll forward. All right, babe. Put it in gear and roll forward. No. <laughs> roll forward. Okay, roll back. Good. Ah. I think I got her, shut her down. Oh, I need to kill it. We need to grab this little clip here for these. So just ooh. should you push down on there? Yep. And where'd the other one run off to? Where are you? There you are. Alright. Whoa. Right there. Push that down. Clip. This one didn't have a satisfying clippy sound. Let me try again. Not very satisfying, but I'm pretty sure that's down. Yep. Okay. Secure. Secure. No leaky poos. Whoop. I just knocked over my tripod. Ready to put the bumper back on. All right. What do you think, babe? Do you think I'll be able to put this bumper back on without breaking it? I don't know. I hope so. You hope so? Me too. You want to wheel that over here? It's behind the truck. Yeah, I put it on the creeper. She says, what do you mean wheel it over? Yeah. That's how you deal with the bumper right there. Because it's awkward. I can't be the only one that's done that. All right. Perfect. Uh, a little bit closer. Right there. All right, babe. I'll take it from here. I think maybe... What? Starting dinner. What's dinner? Oh, hey, by the way, I already ate. I had leftover pork loin from the... Um, from the uh, cast iron inside the wood stove adventure. It's so good. <laughs> All right, it was just yesterday I took this off. Can I remember how to reverse order it? <clears throat> I recall this side came out last. So it should probably go in first, yes? And these clips push up in right there. All right, man, that creeper, look at that creeper. I mean, it gets it right up, really close. Okay, there's a there's a little thing right here, a little piece of plastic protrusion. I'm gonna go right in there, it looks like. I think that's my first job. So slide that in and slide these two up. <clears throat> into position. Oh, oh, it's close. Oh my goodness. Is that, am I doing that like they designed it? I feel like that was too easy. Um, I'll take it. I will not argue. And this would slide right there. One slow. One slow. That would go right there. And this would pop back in. Be that easy? Holy mackerel. Uh, did that just happen that easy? There's no, never, ne never does things like that happen. Everything just went right back into position. You line that piece up, pop those in, and just wrap it around making sure that these two go on top 
and then just pop that back in unbelievable I, I just I, I'm astounded I cannot believe my my good fortune oh I'm so happy let me back you up without actually backing you up stuff back in. all right let's see if I can find all my pushy pins uh, so here's the top two and I like these I said last time I this confirms it you just pop them back in there we go <sighs> oh, I'm happy I said it again um these aren't the ones these are for the sides Where did I put yep right here so these are gonna go right back on here gentle tightening excellent so the bolt goes through right here let's see if it's still lined up oh yeah <coughs> <coughs> something caught in my throat here take it off here for a second and just get it started by hand. <laughs> Again, don't try that in cold weather. Probably would have cracked it. But no worries, because it's warm. It went right in there. Hey, brother. Hey, sis. Believe it or not, I got it on without breaking anything else so far. <clears throat> no drama and no leaks we replaced the hoses i couldn't start the van for fear of more leakage so the wheels were in the way now i mean boy what a difference this makes i can get right on it with a regular screwdriver which it's the little things you know that bring joy to life like not having to do monkey business to put a screw in this is seriously saving me like 10 minutes <laughs> versus with the with the wheel in the way and trying to monkey around with the wrong tool well let's um give the old clip a try sometimes if you didn't damage them too much you can throw them right back in by golly that ain't going anywhere. That'll have to do. Oh man, though, if I can't use these, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a couple short at least, because I definitely, I mean, <laughs> I definitely broke a couple. All right, got that one in. You know those cars with these things flopping around the bottom down the road? I don't want to be one of those. All right, got that one in though, so I can go ahead and turn my. So yeah, right under here, where these pushy pins go, I guess I can see if I can push one of these in. It's not really the right size. I bet a hammer would push it in, though. Let's try a hammer. If I can get a swing on it. Probably not. Let's see. Maybe like a, a backward swing. Ha! <laughs> yeah no <laughs> I mean it kind of works just pulls out real easy I'll get better ones somewhere at some point but for now I'll put these in it's just a van but other than missing a push pin there and there back together Everything lines up. 
Well, there you have it. Um, job done. I don't know how well done, but it's done. And we'll just have to just check. We'll have to check on the uh, transmission fluid level later. Um, not too much later, but I don't think we lost that much fluid. We, I think the wife caught it the morning it happened. So, yep. Twin new lines back there. Okay, time to go in. Well, clean up. No, nah, I won't. I'll, I'll probably kind of clean up. Mostly clean up? No, nah, I'll just throw the tools inside the garage and close it. <laughs> Have a good one.